Please put your hands together for Mr. Mike Boyle. Keep it one more time for us. Give it up, people. Thank you for coming out. Welcome to Black Knight. <laughs> My name is Mike. A little bit about me. I was married for 10 years and then I found out my spouse was gay. <laughs> kind of thought he would have told me a little sooner. <laughs> in your relationship. I started dating again. This girl I started dating. This is Mike. I need to tell you something. I'm bipolar. Yeah. 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 I was thinking like, fuck cool. I'd never travel. She had two main faults. Uh, she was suicidal and she was a procrastinator. <laughs> <laughs> she was kind of waiting for that one to work itself out. But it didn't. But it kind of made me mad because like, I had a job and she didn't. She'd sit home in, in the bedroom watching reruns of CSI and Law & Order all day. And I get home from work and I just look down that hallway and like, God, it's going to be hard to kill that bitch. Because <laughs> the DNA testing, right? So I started watching Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> and Dexter. Because I'll eat. I will eat the bitch. I and Shawshank Redemption, just in case. So I said, forget it, I'm going to quit dating. You know, I'm going to do, I'm going to get an inflatable girlfriend. Where do you get an inflatable girlfriend? Not Costco, because I'm not Mormon. I don't need 12 of them. <laughs> so I went to eBay. Guy was having a closeout sale, two for one. But you didn't get to pick your girl. I said, 30 bucks, I'll do it. I got him yesterday. He sent me a white girl and an Iraqi girl. I started blowing the white girl. Iraqi blew herself up. Oh. <laughs> it's like I tried to take her to the plastic surgeon, but all I have is ankles and eyebrows. He's like, the best thing you can do is probably just go over there and open up a Hooters. Come on, I'm not, I don't really like strip clubs because like there's your boobs, here's a dollar. It's like I'm married again. I still can't touch it. When... <laughs> but so they took me to Fantasy World and I'm all there. I got my, I got my, I got my Tawaka and I got my Miller Lite and I got my fucking Roller Nichols right there. I mean everything. I'm set. <laughs> and this girl comes out and starts dancing and then she's like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, stop. This is my fantasy. This bitch talks. Because pot's weird, man. Like, one thing you never want to do is, like, uh, smoke pot and then go to church. Because it's so embarrassing, like, if you're a guy at church, like, hey, dude, you're communion. You're like, are you going to eat that one, too? Because I'm hungry like a motherfucker. I got... <laughs> hey, I, you got wine on this one? Because I got cotton now. I drink water in the back and my fucking throat's on fire. Is it? I'm going to tell you about my day. It started out pretty shitty. I went to the doctor for my checkup, and he said, you need to stay as far away from cocaine as possible. So I made this. Because I figure that's far enough away, isn't it? <laughs> Wouldn't you think? And that one, male enhancement in three to five seconds. Is that possible? Yeah, touch it. And then you see that one for Valtrex. This girl comes out on TV and she's like, you know what, I'm not really outgoing, so I can't let gentle hurt me slow me down. And I start thinking, well, maybe you weren't so outgoing. <laughs> right? You wouldn't have found the time to be a whore. I mean, really. And you know The lights are up anyways, come on, just pretend. First of all, don't ever buy extends, because you know what it is? It's a two-inch bill with some duct tape. <laughs> and that shit dissolves. I mean, really, it does. And you know what? Like, if you're going to do a male enhancement uh, commercial, like, I'm white, so don't have a black guy pitching it to me, because I'm fucked. <laughs> you know, maybe have some Asians going like, oh, me to the full, so big now. <laughs> He's so horny. Ground shaking. Uh, every time we talk about male enhancement and like making the guy's penis bigger, it's not always 100% our responsibility. Well, so first of all, girls, if you're wearing underwear that says Gap, you can't talk about size of my dick. <laughs> you guys remember the old Batman TV shows? The old black and white Batman with the bat cave comes out of like this furry cave and it closes and it like looks all small, but then you go in there. There's like a helicopter and a garage and a boat and a fucking butler and a computers and a pool up to the top of the mansion. 
Yeah, that could be your uterus. We don't know. So I'm thinking maybe we need to make a female enhancement drug for girls. Oh, like Tucker. Just like... No, me and my Asian friends are working on this thing. I swear to God. I just got to get the right slogan. It's like Tucker right before you do it. Not like Tucker. Like Tucker for a tighter insider. That'll fucking hit right there. You know what? Girls, you got like all the options. You know, you got all the... You can like cut your shit however you want, really. You just gotta have some, like, hedge clippers or whatever. Any the barber! Yeah! 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 I miss the girl who talked like you. That's weird. <laughs> but you girls can do that. Like, I had one girl was with, and she had a cut in a Bermuda Triangle shape. I'm like, holy shit, we lost a lot of good men in there. <laughs> I think a ship went in there, too. I'm not sure. But my girl's like, we can't do it on my period. I'm like, well... How's your colon? <laughs> There's a makeup out there called Cover Girl. That should have been makeup, that should have been a condom. We can't have sex. Oh, I got your Cover Girl. <laughs> right? But in our infinite wisdom, what do we call our condoms? We call them Trojan. Trojan condoms. Trojan. Wait till she's asleep. And then sneak in. Surprise! Hi! I'm Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Kobe screwed up. I could have saved him with a marketing whiz. Right? He lost Sprite and Nike, two main sponsors. I could just change your slogans. Sprite. Obey your thirst. Just ask her first. <laughs> and like Nike, uh, just do it. With your wife. Don't ask you to sign a two-year no roll over. I mean really. Is that hard? And what happened to Tiger Woods? Sex therapy? Really? What they put him on a practice screen to say only hit that one white hole right there? He couldn't do that in his relationship. But Buick drops Tiger Woods. Why? No one got more pussy in a Buick than Tiger Woods. For Christ's sake, he drove a rendezvous. <laughs> and like if I ever go over to a girl's house and I see her mini pad say always, I'm gone. I don't care if that wings. I'm flying out of there. I'm just, right? Why do you call him always? Call him like three to five days max, but I still be a good head. I mean, it's a longer name. But ladies, we want him for you. We will. And then I see one box in Walgreens. The last thing I see is, it says, uh, it's a douche. It says, uh, Mountain Fresh Douche. And swear to God, I've never gone down on a chick and said, holy shit, you smell like the Rockies. <laughs> no, wait, I did one time when I spilled my course light on her crotch. And then that shit will fuck her. That's my time, you guys. Mike B, thank you. Mike, Mike, boy, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mike.